College Station City Council is planning for the future with a proposed $540 million budget for the next fiscal year. The city plans to leave the tax rate the same, though there may be cost increases for some city services like water. Donnie Tuggle has the latest. The hurricane didn't deter College Station City leaders from meeting this afternoon to discuss the city's future and budget. It's an important time for everyone to pay attention to how the city spends its money. Jeff Kirsten, assistant city manager and chief financial officer, says the proposed $540 million budget with this nearly 10% year-over-year increase lays the groundwork for the next three to five years. What our needs are going to be in terms of public safety, um, police and fire, what our needs are going to be in terms of um, in terms of our capital infrastructure, making sure we have adequate water supply and, and, and those sorts of things. Mayor Nichols says the budget's focused on capital projects, including completing new fire station seven by 2026, a Wolf Pen Creek study and other infrastructure initiatives. So we spent last year designing them. This year in 2025, the next fiscal year, we'll begin to actually break ground and build some of those uh, pieces of infrastructure, uh, streets, roads, uh, facilities that, uh, and, and park uh, maintenance and park activities. Right now, the city plans to leave the tax rate the same, paying for the increase thanks to higher property values and more sales tax revenue. Though, there may be cost increases for some city services like water to help fund new wells and infrastructure to keep up with growth and demand. I think it's, uh, uh, frankly, a very uh, uh, conservative budget that will do, uh, do well to meet the needs of the city. In College Station, Donnie Tuggle, News 3. And we want to let you know this, that city leaders are going to be having a series of budget workshops next week with an open house for public input on July 22nd. We have the full budget proposal right now on KBTX.com. Still ahead on News.